Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out our website. What we've got prepared for you are some awesome Muay Thai techniques with one of our head coaches, Coach Carl. Now, these techniques are going to be really, really beneficial when you start training here and check out our 30-day free trial. And if you like what you see in this video, then you're going to love training at Precision. So to get started with your 30-day free trial, free introductory lesson and consultation, give us a call here at 845-392-8495. Um, right now we're going to be looking at our first technique, we're going to be working on our jab. It's going to be a lead side punch, but I lead with my, my left side, so it's going to be left side punch. Hand comes from my face, up to the pad, and back. When my hand comes out, I roll my shoulder, it's going to protect my jaw when my hand is away. And I come back, my hand on the other side, it comes up high, then the punch comes out. To get a little bit of power on this punch, I'm going to synchronize my hand and my foot on the same side. I'm going to step with it, come right back. As fast as it comes out, I want it to return into my face. Just like that. That's our jab. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that technique and there's more on the way. Don't forget to check out our 30 day free trial at Precision Mixed Martial Arts. Number here is 845-392-8495. Technique we're going to be looking at now is our cross. It's a rear side punch. It's going to be a power shot. To generate power for this punch, I'm going to be rolling my hips into it. I'm going to start at the ground using my foot, pivot my heel out, and I roll my hip forward on that side. My hands start high. I throw right from my face, out nice and straight. My shoulder rolls up and protects my jaw in the absence of my hand. My hip pivots back, and it reels my hand back to my face. Twist and back. So I'm going to leave it hanging, I'm going to make sure it comes back straight to my face. If it comes back low, I'm going to get countered. I don't want that. Just like that, that's our cross. Now, we're going to be looking at our hook. It's going to be a lead side hook. This can be used for power, or we can use it as a setup. We're right now we're going to be looking at how to generate power with this technique. It's going to be right here in my stance. My arm's going to roll out in a hook. Shape. I'm going to pivot my hips to generate momentum. Starting at the floor, my hip, my foot twists out, which rolls my hip on that side. Make my hook, twist, hit the pad, and I come back. Everything goes in rewind. Bring my hand back to my face. Boom. Just like that. All right, then from the other side, my right hand protects my face. Rolls out. Boom. In and out. Right there, lead side hook. Now we're going to be looking at a rear side elbow. With this elbow, we're going to be cutting diagonally. Reason being, if a person is in a good stance with their guard high, and I come horizontally, I'm going to hit their gloves. My goal here is to come over the top and cut the forehead, being able to, to blind somebody with their own blood. Basic rule of thumb with the elbows, if I'm close enough to hit somebody with an elbow, they can hit me back. So first step, I need to cover up nice and high. I'm going to cover my face, my elbow is going to come up in preparation for the strike, protecting myself. I'm going to pivot my lower body just like we were doing on our cross. I'm going to cut my elbow down. Cover, elbow up, twisting through, and then I go and rewind. As the hip comes back, my hand waves high. Boom, boom, coming up nice and tall. Cover, cut, and back. That is our rear side elbow. Now we're going to be looking at a lead side straight elbow. Footwork on this is going to be very similar to our jab. I'm going to step in towards the pads, bring my weight forward, and my lead side is going to be coming out. I'm not just looking to hit with the tip of the elbow here. I'm going to use my entire forearm as the weapon. Right here, coming out. My other hand protects my face. I pop my shoulder as my foot lands on the same side. Right here. This is designed to split my opponent's guard. Right in here. Lead side, straight elbow. Now we're going to be looking at our rear leg knee strike. Important things on this technique. I'm going to be up on the ball of my lead foot. This is going to give me more drive and better placement for my knee strike. Up on the balls of the feet. I'm going to drive my knee up and fire my hips forward into the pad holder. It's important that I commit my hips here. If I throw a weak pity pat knee, 
It's not worth the risk I take by being on one foot. I'm going to drive my hips in through the pad. Committing right here. When you're still learning the technique, it's more important that you get those hips in than you come back to your stance. Once you get comfortable committing your hips, then we want to start bringing our foot back into the stance we started from. Right here. Boom. Just like that. And that's our rear side knee strike. Next technique we're going to be looking at is our switch step knee. To set up a lead side knee strike, I don't want to throw it straight from my stance here. I need to prime this knee so that it's ready to fire. And I'm going to do that by utilizing my switch step technique. From my fighting stance, my lead foot slides back in line with my rear foot. My rear foot is going to step forward, more or less in line with where my lead foot started. Slide, step. From here, I'm ready to throw a lead side knee. I'm going to drop my knee up. Fire my hips forward. On the pads, it's going to look like this. Slide, step, my knee comes up, and I fire my hips into the target. One, two, three. I come right down into my fighting stance. It's my lead leg, so I put it back down in front so that I can continue to fight out of that stance. That's our lead leg knee. 